Santos, uh, originally born and raised in uh, South Texas. I started boxing at the age of 10. Uh, I was always in the gym with my father. He's a boxer himself. He would, uh, went pro, I think he was a uh, four and one, four knockouts or three knockouts or something like that. And uh, yeah, I basically grew up in the, in the gym, you know, he really couldn't afford daycare and all that stuff. So just hang out in the gym, hit the bag, speed bag. Um, I was about 10 years old and I, I got the itch. You know, I wanted to start boxing, and uh, I didn't really understand the whole concept of training and preparing to actually fight, so my father was like, oh, you think you're tough? You think you can fight? Let's put on a pair of gloves and uh, get in the ring. So, first day in the gym, I sparred with a, a little boy. I think he was about eight or nine, so he was younger than me. But uh, we did three one-minute rounds, and I was gassed. I was done. I, I didn't understand the fundamentals, the basics, anything like that, but... I could fight, you know, that was, I love to fight, so that's, uh, that's how I started, basically, you know, he saw that I had the heart, and I liked what I was doing, so, he's, the next day, we were in the gym training, and, um, yeah, I've been boxing ever since, so, I went to my first national tournament, I think I was about 13 or 14, uh, I fought at ringside, and now, at that time, ringside was, like, the major tournament, and, um, unfortunately, I lost the first day, but, uh, we were right back in the gym that following October, I think it was, was my first uh, national POW tournament. I went in with about 10 fights maybe, ended up winning the entire tournament. And uh, at that point, my father knew I was serious, I was dedicated, and I wanted to make a career out of it. And we just started going to every national tournament I could get into. Uh, that same year we won Junior Olympic National Championships. And we just kept winning, kept winning. And, uh, my senior year of high school, I was uh, 18 years old. I fought at the USA National Championships 2013. And I ran into the Army head coach, uh, Charles Leverett at the time. I think he's still the head coach there today. But uh, him and my father got to talking, and, you know, uh, he, he sold the Army to my father. And uh, we ended up taking silver at that tournament. With that, I was able to secure a spot on the Army boxing team. So I just had to go to basic training and advanced um, individual training for my job. And uh, that's, I left the nest. Yep, so I did five years in the Army. And at, in that five years, I was still boxing for the Army um, amateur. I won a couple of national tournaments, was on the U.S. world team, uh, qualified for 2016 Olympic trials. Competed. Unfortunately, I lost the 2016 Olympic trials, so I decided to stay another quad and uh, try to make the 2020 Olympic team. Uh, qualified for Olympic trials at 125 pounds. Was ranked number one in the country. I was on the world team in that weight class, in the Olympic weight class. And uh, instead of competing at the Olympic trials for the Olympic spot, I decided to turn pro. Um, I was I was happy with my amateur career. I did everything that you could possibly do in the amateurs except make an Olympic team. And, um, I was happy with what I did in that in that time span, but uh, I was ready to do something different, go to the next chapter. Yep, so in 2018, uh, my wife and I moved out here to the DMV. Uh, she was stationed in DC. So I had to find a, a new gym to call home. And uh, I remember Lamont Jr. from uh, the amateurs, you know, we grew up together fighting at the same national tournaments and stuff like that. So I hit him up on Instagram and he gave me his father's information. So I reached out to Coach Lamont and uh, the following day I was in the gym with him and, you know, I just got that family vibe. It was, uh, we clicked right away and it was just um, that instant family connection. And I felt right at home training, you know, we had the same system was nothing really different than what I was uh, used to in the past. So, uh, yeah, we have a great, great relationship and uh, I'm definitely right at home where I should be. Yeah, so, uh, the training was the same. We, uh, I had a long conversation with Coach Lamont and uh, we just made the best decision for me as far as like my career and what I want to do in the future. And turning professional was, was the right answer, was the right choice. And, uh, I had all the confidence in Coach Lamont that he was going to put me in the right direction, the right team. Um, I just had to follow the course, you know, and he ended up getting me my professional debut on a Golden Boy card. 
that's a big thing for women because you don't really see it, you know. So I was, uh, I was pumped. I was excited. It was, it was all new for me, and it was something I, I didn't dream of really fighting on a boat boy car, you know. So to do it was it was amazing. Uh, so my first professional fight was uh, 118 pounds, which I hadn't fought at in years, you know. So I was a little, a little timid about the weight and whatnot, but uh, we made the weight easy. My strength and conditioning coach knows exactly what he's doing. So uh, leading up to the first one, I was a little anxious, nervous, because it, it had been about a year since I had stepped into the ring. And uh, the atmosphere was different, the environment, uh, the process of the weigh-ins and all that stuff. So weigh-ins was crazy for me. I was nervous, shaking, you know, excited, pumped up. And I probably would have fought right then and there had they let us, you know. But uh, it was a good experience walking to the ring, you know, those little butterflies I hadn't felt since probably my first amateur fight, really, to be honest. So it was uh, definitely a new experience. And going through the entire fight, you know, the rounds were much shorter than the amateurs. You know, we fought two minute rounds in the pros, and I was really used to just going three minute rounds. So the, the time difference really made a, a difference with the headgear, small gloves, and all that stuff. So. I'm more comfortable now, especially training in that situation and, and those gloves, that, that time limit. So uh, I'm definitely ready to go. We've been in camp. We've been in camp because we were preparing to fight September 4th. But unfortunately, uh, about a week before fight, fight time, the fight was postponed. And uh, I was blessed with another opportunity to fight September 25th. And we, we've been training hard and ready to go. So typically in the mornings I would get up about 5, 5.30 the latest. I'm on the, on the road doing my road work at 6 a.m. Uh, the Army mindset got me, in the, got me in early training and stuff like that. So we get that out of the way, do a little bit of school work because I'm a full-time student. And I do a little bit of work on the outside as far as like personal training and stuff like that. And uh, right back in the gym to do my boxing uh, training typically start off with 500 reps of sit-ups or some type of ab work. Into jump rope, a few rounds, uh, shadow box, a few rounds, and then depending on the day, if it's a sparring day, get in a couple of rounds with the, the men, the young men here, and uh, just finish off with a little bit of bad work just to work on the little things we need to correct. And uh, we finish up with some ab work as well. And, uh, we're training typically like that every day, Monday through Friday, once on Saturday and Sunday, you know, uh, no days off. We'll be working hard. You know, we don't be prepared for ourselves.